Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting. I wanted to come on and share some Christmas cards I've received in the mail this week. So I have some super cute and uh, amazing card creations here to share with you. First, let me share with you this tag that Anne Marie sent to me. She is, uh, uh, what is she? Scrap Doll 7 Creations. Yes, Scrap Doll 7 Creations here on YouTube. Uh, Anne Marie. Thank you, Anne Marie, for this adorable tag. And I don't know if you know this, but this is one of my Impression Obsession um, tag bases here. So that's fun to see you use. And look at these adorable little images here. There's a cute little um, gingerbread house on a cup of cocoa. It's probably like a peppermint mocha. Cute as can be. That little candy cane is really cute too. Oh, you used, um, I thought this was a little snowflake t that you had tucked up here in the back of the tag, but it's actually printed on the paper. That's really cute. Oh, and look at that beautiful lace. So many pretty details on this Anne Marie, and that little bell is cute, and she had it all tied up with this big red ribbon, and then my card was wrapped in tissue paper and had this wrapped around it. So cute. And here's the card she made. Anne-Marie always makes the most adorable cards. She loves to use eyelet lace around the outside edges of her cards. And I think it's so cute. Oh, these trees are pretty neat. They've got little extra details in the die cut. You see the details there? Cute, great idea. I love uh, Anne-Marie. You always make the cutest little clusters and there actually is a little snowflake tucked back in here. I see it there. And these adorable little gingers. I love that she's holding a candy cane. Oh, he has one too. And I love the little dollop of ice cream or whipped cream on his head. Adorable. And then on the inside, she's decorated it like this and left me a sweet note up here on the top of the card. So really, really cute card, Anne-Marie. Thank you so much. It's going to look so nice on our railing by the dining room. And then I received a package from Lisa Adavasio as well. She sent me this adorable little tag. There's a snowman die cut there and the snowman die cut has an embossed um, detail in there. So you might be able to see him in there. Cute. I love all these little papers here. This, oh, I, th I think, um, I think I have a haul to share and it uses that paper or it has some of that paper in it. And this ribbon is so cute. I love this little bulb pin here that she's tied on uh, or pinned on with a little bell. Adorable. A cute little Noel tag. So this was created by Lisa. So thank you, Lisa. A couple of years ago, Lisa sent me this little uh, pick thingy that I use um, like on every project. So thanks again for this too, Lisa. <laughs> I don't know if you uh, see me use it all that often, but it's always right here on my desk. I use it to always pick off the backs of my tapes and things like that. So, And then Lisa also sent me this adorable card. I love the little prim style of these little birds. There's a little button on its wing. This one has little stars on its tail and it's got little uh, blanket stitch around its wings. This one has a cute little scarf and stripes on its belly. Adorable. Adorable. Cute little ornament. <laughs> Super cute card and thank you for the note inside, Lisa. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you as well. And then Sue Crozier sent me this card and I was... Um, so tickled when I took this out of the envelope because this is one of my whippersnapper images. So I love it. Thank you, Sue. Cute um, little lace down here as well. Red button, adorable. So Sue, thank you so much. And she's also used one of my dies in here from Impression Obsession for the inside of her card. So thank you. I love that and love the little handmade buy on the back of your card as well. Darling, I also received this beautiful card from my friend Gabby, Gabby with an I. And uh, it's a shaker card, beautiful shaker card. She has stamped some trees there in the background and then overlaid this um, acetate here where she's put this gorgeous piece um, die image or die cut and then filled it with all kinds of little fun, sparkly and snowy shaker bits. So absolutely beautiful card, Gabby. So thank you so much for that. And then there's the back of her card as well. Gorgeous, right? And an interesting, nice size. This is a four by four, uh, four and a quarter uh, by four and a quarter square card. So cute. I love that paper. Holy cow. 
And then I also got this card in the mail from my friend Carol D and her husband Bob. And this is a beautiful wreath. Carol and I are uh, both gardeners. So this wreath is perfect for uh, a card from Carol D. It's got this cute little black capped chickadee on it, but it also has some onions. Um, or these could be, um, what are those great big flowers at Christmas time? Amaryllis, maybe? Um, but then this is twine. Here's a little garden trowel. And then here's another onion bulb or amaryllis. I think that's what those are called. A cute little flower pot over here. So cute. I love that image. So, and then a nice note inside from her and Bob. And uh, Carol just signs the back of her card. So thank you so much for that card as well, Carol. I appreciate it. All those cards are going to be so lovely on our railing uh, by the dining room. So thank you so much, everybody. I uh, also have a couple packages here that I haven't opened yet, so I'm going to share another video where I've got a, a package here from um, Lonnie Joyce. I have a package from Val uh, from up in Canada, and then I also have a package here from Joanne. So three that I received um, late last week. I haven't opened them yet, um, but I am looking forward to opening those tonight, so I'll definitely share those with you. And then wanted to share a couple things with you. I actually sat down and made something last night. I know, shocking. Um, so some of the products I used um, was my scalloped oval tag from Impression Obsession. And then I also used one of these little felt hats. Um, I think these may have been from probably Hobby Lobby. I think so. Um, I ended up actually cutting up the back side here and cutting out the seam so that I could re-glue it to make it a little bit um, of a smaller hat. Um, and then I also used my Voodoo doll die set, which is this one here, and this is one of my dies for Impression Obsession. So it comes with the little Voodoo doll, a heart, some great big stitches or suture stitches, and some pins, um, a couple buttons, and an X. So let me go ahead and share with you what I made. I made a Christmas tag. <laughs> so I joke with my coworkers that I have uh, voodoo dolls of them and they better mind their manners or they will get pins stuck in them. <laughs> so I made this uh, for one of my coworkers. <laughs> and there you can see that little hat. I actually had to make it smaller. So I just snipped up the backside there and removed the seam. And then I was able to glue it onto the little doll's head um, and make it fit by making the hat smaller. And then this Merry Christmas here is from that Tim Holtz set of uh, labels, vintage labels. Uh, the Christmas ones. So I thought that turned out pretty cute. And then I gave it a quick spritz with gold glitter dust. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it sparkles. So fun, fun. Um, and then I also got um, an order in the mail that I had placed with um, Frantic Stamper. So I'll share that with you as well. Um, let's see. I picked up the new Lumberjack Plaid uh, Distress Ink. So I didn't get the oxide. I thought I would use just the Distress um, ink pad more frequently. Oops. So let's take a look at that. Ooh. But that's a really saturated ink pad, so I'm excited to use that. I'll have to put a little label on the outside edge there so I'll know what color it is when it's on my shelf. And then I did order a few things as well. Um, I did order some gifts uh, from them, which I won't be sharing, but uh, they'll be going out to uh, a friend of mine who I'm not sure watches my videos or not, so I'm not going to share the gifts. <laughs> but I picked up this cute little lawn fawn set for myself of these little gingers. It is called Tiny Gingerbread. And I think this set may have a die, um, and it may have been out of stock. And then I also picked up this one. It's called Oh Snap. And these aren't new. I, I think these may have come out last year or the year before. And then this one, oops, this one actually had the dye in stock. So I picked that up as well. So real, real cute little sets. I love Lawn Fawn. And then I also picked up some of these Maha Designs papers. So I got Happy Christmas. And this is the one I think, yes, this is the one I think is from um, the tag that uh, Lisa made for me. Let's see. Yeah, I think this print came from uh, this paper pad or one very similar to it anyways. So real, real cute. 
And I like the small prints of these papers and beautiful uh, imagery. Um, oops, there's one of the gifts. <laughs> and then Traditional Christmas is another one I picked up for myself. This one's really cute. It's got the little gnomes and apples and things like that. So, But I picked it up for all the little plaids and the little um, pages with the greenery. I think those are really, really cute. The holly one is super cute. So those will be fun to use. And I think I picked these up last year as well um, and just enjoyed using them so much I wanted to get them again while they were in stock. And then I also picked up um, some Nouveau drops. This one is the Vintage Nouveau. It's white, but it dries matte. So this one is new to me. So that'll be fun to use. Interesting little cap on that bottle. Yes, it says add matte dimensional details to craft projects. So I've never used any of their matte um, drops before. And then this one is, um, what is this one called? Red berry. So I thought this would be perfect to use on some of my Christmas projects where I want to add some red berries um, to the wreaths and things. And then this one is called uh, Rhubarb Crumble. Ooh, yummy. And I wasn't sure which red I would like better for Christmas, so I picked up both of them. This one might be a little too on the pink side once it comes out of the jar, but um, so I wasn't quite sure. So I went with both, and it looks like um, the berry, uh, red berry one might, might match Lumberjack uh, plaid pretty well. So we'll see about that. And then this one is Simply White, and this is a repurchase for me, and this is just a white raised... Um, dimensional dot crystal drop. So I really like the um, Nouveau bottles. They're really nice and easy to squeeze. Um, they're a little bit easier to squeeze than the Stickles bottles, in my opinion. And then I think that's it uh, for this video and the things that I wanted to share. I've got a couple of fun things here on my desk. I got a couple stamps here on my desk um, that Jen had sent me in a package that I won um, on her blog as a giveaway. So I've got these on my desk to use. So thank you so much for those, Jen. Um, I'll enjoy using those. And I said the other night that I was supposed to clean my desk. It didn't happen. So <laughs> um, maybe this weekend. <laughs> maybe this weekend. All right. Um, the other thing I was wondering if Jill is going to have time to do her curating for Christmas um, series. I haven't heard anything about it, so I'm thinking maybe not this year. Um, but if I get things tidied up here a little bit before I get started um, heavily, heavily crafting, maybe I'll do a quick little video of um, like my uh, sh the uh, stamps over on my shelves and things. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for all the beautiful cards, ladies. They're going to be gorgeous on the railing by our dining room table. So thank you so much. Bye, everyone.